Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and this is my free-to-play account. Opened a couple of months ago um, when I think Enya Exubia was free, and I just started playing this during Marion Riptide's free version as well. So if you can take a look at what I have, I do have a few here, enough to create a decent build but I'm still farming for weapons for Katya, for Fanny Starshine, and the weapon for Marion. So they're available in the shop right now. That is why I'm farming them. Um, to the you know, with with in terms of team building, try to look at one to two teams to start because some of the content mostly require two teams. Uh, for neural simulation, definitely you will need two teams there at least so um at least you know um it doesn't mean that it has to match neural simulation but at least two decent teams that you could use in any of the content if you it requires two teams okay so my first team here is going to be fanny coronet together with fanny ss here and together with yao so that is the comp, you know, the, the 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 composition of my first team. My second team is Katya Dawning, together with uh, Marion Riptide and Exuvia Enya. So it's not really a perfect team, I may say, but the the principle in creating teams is going to be at least one DPS, two supports, or two dps and one support so let's go back to the team here so this is your dps you have two supports in fenny and in yao here technically fenny starshine could be your sub dps so she's actually a mix of a support and a sub dps and also for what do you call this for your second team primary dps is going to be katya donwing Secondary DPS and support would be Marian and um, Enya can actually support Riptide or Marian Riptide because um, her Kraken magazine is a is a skill skill effect or skill damage. So that is how I'm building it. So again, one DPS, two support, or two DPS and one support. So that is more or less the mix of the lineups that you need to have. Um, right now, it would be too early to consider elemental weakness um, because, again, if you're, especially if you're free to play and you're beginning out, you would have to consider what you have, especially free to play again and low spenders. You don't have a choice on the ops that you get, so you would have to rely on building the first six, then probably get or try to build your element elements that are available so for my team i have for kinetic by the way i have fanny starshine for frost i do have yao which mostly you don't use as a damage dealer but uh, katya is there for frost chaos i have marion um electric i do have uh, coronet and i do have enya Okay, so I'm just missing a thermal, you know, component to this. Um, honestly, uh, a good thermal would be, uh, if I may say, a serious Kisana. She would be a perfect for my team. But again, I don't have any more. I just finished this. The pity for this, um, getting Katya Donwing because I wanted to pair her with uh, with Marn Riptide. Again. Series is a perfect thermal unit if you you know if you have the chance get her now in her banner. So with that said, let's go back to the team building that I have. Um, probably the nearest that I have here for thermal would be this girl. So Frisha, little sunshine, is the nearest that I can build if I don't have any free thermal unit she is actually good especially if you're starting out now um you know it, it's it's not going to be a problem using her in the early stages of your account okay and again guys don't be afraid to use four stars four stars have a place in this game 
I'm going to give you guys a list of uh, probable four stars that you can invest in a little, but not that much. So starting off with this girl here, Frisha, little star shine, of course, one that you can use for four star. For four star. Now you have uh, the other one is uh, if you don't have a healer yet, definitely go for Yao Quiet Quitter. She is one of our, you know, our, you know, best healers in the game so far. And uh, we do have Akasha Redacted if you don't have any Chaos type units and if uh, operatives. And if you're looking for a mob clearer, definitely choose her. The other one is going to be Fanny Lionheart. Very, very nice damage as well. Um, and I think the last one, if you're looking for another support, you can actually go with series. Okay. Okay. I forgot. There's one last one for support. So series is one early game to mid game. The final one, which I don't have, is actually... Not this Chenxing. This Chenxing. Chenxing the Observer. She's actually good as well. Um, she's a healer in a buffer. So you can actually use her. Supports mainly are the best to invest in. Because they reach up to the end game. If you want to use. Um, if you want to really fully invest on 4 stars. I would suggest uh, putting most of it in the supports. Okay. So... Um, again, balance out your resources. You don't need to level up more than six in the early game. So I have here six. Frisha is going to be a question mark. So I'm going to be building my first six. Um, I don't want to spend on other ops for now unless I get a better orange tier in the future. I don't know. We did receive a orange tier selector way back in the first year anniversary i still have it here so i haven't used it because i don't have the orange tier characters to go with them this is for akasha kaguya this is for chenshing orange tier this is for haru this is for i believe this is for mauxir this is for for uh, the Magician, Tess. This is for Katya. The first Katya. And this is for um, the Cub. Forgot her name. But she's the Cub. Anyway, these are the previews. You know, these are the first ones. Right now, if you're a beginner. Let's say, for example, you just started now. or started a few days ago. If you have, um, what do you call this? If you're planning to get series and... If you don't want to spend now, there's a chance that you could get her weapon for free in another future advanced weapon bay. I'm not guaranteeing this. This is just a possibility because they gave this out during the first year. So if my theory serves right, either we get this in 1.5 anniversary or the second year anniversary of the game. And it will just follow with the other operatives that were not given free, you know, free, uh, were not in the previous selector. So, again, series would be in that group. So, that is it. A short tip on team building. There is no really um, fixed formula for team building. This is just a guide for you on how to balance things out. Consider um, the functionality. Consider the synergy consider as well the element and again for four stars um most of them are actually good but a few of them can be worth your investment going to the future okay guys so that is it thank you very much for staying this far comment down in the comment section below what you think stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here